Sergey Nazarov is a co-founder and CEO at Chainlink Labs. He graduated with a degree in business administration from New York University with a focus on philosophy and administration. His professional career began as a teaching fellow at NYU Stern School of Business. In 2009, Nazarov co-founded Exist Local, a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace for authentic local experiences. In 2014, he also co-founded CryptoMail, a completely decentralized, blockchain-based email service. In 2014, Nazarov teamed up with Steve Ellis and launched Smart Contract, a platform that brings smart contracts to life by connecting them to external data and widely accepted bank payments. Smart Contract was one of the entrepreneurial ventures that led Sergey Nazarov to the founding of Chainlink. Steve Ellis graduated with a degree in computer science from New York University in 2010. Right after graduating, he became a software engineer at Pivotal Labs. In 2014, he co-founded the Secure Asset Exchange a company facilitating easy web access to a decentralized asset exchange. This is cryptocurrency worldwide. Please subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos about cryptocurrency. Now let's dive in Chainlink. What is this thing? Although Chainlink took the public spotlight in September 2017, it was conceived all the way back in 2014 by Sergey Nazarov. With the launch of its mainnet, it became operational in May 2019. Nazarov is a veteran of the crypto space, having been a part of it since 2011, into which he smoothly transitioned from building peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces such as Exist Local in 2009. Nazarov's first excursion into the blockchain space was CryptoMail, a decentralized blockchain email platform. However, by partnering with Steve Ellis, he paved the road toward Chainlink. They both founded the Smart Contract platform, interlinking smart contracts with external data for the purpose of executing bank payments. Chainlink Labs published its first Chainlink white paper on September 4, 2017. Most recently, it released the Chainlink 2.0 white paper on April 15, 2021. In that four-year space, Chainlink suffered some criticism, even from the co-creator of Ethereum itself, Vitalik Buterin. He noted that Chainlink lacks the proper framework to penalize providers who provide faulty data on-chain. Originally, Chainlink Chainlink was supposed to be a centralized network that would be layered on top of blockchains to verify the influx of external data. Since then, it has transformed into a decentralized Oracle network. With two funding rounds behind them, Chainlink Labs has raised around $32 million so far. Its key investors are Richard F. Dulud, Nirvana Capital, Limitless Crypto Investments, George Burke, Andreas Schwartz, and Fundamental Labs. Chainlink is a blockchain abstraction layer that enables universally connected smart contracts. Through a decentralized Oracle network, Chainlink allows blockchains to securely interact with external data feeds, events and payment methods providing the critical off-chain information needed by complex smart contracts to become the dominant form of digital agreement. Or in other hand, the Chainlink network is driven by a large open-source community of data providers, node operators, smart contract developers, researchers, security auditors and more. The company focuses on ensuring that decentralized participation is guaranteed for all node operators and users looking to contribute to the network. The live Chainlink price today is US$16.75 with a 24-hour our trading volume of 1,097,998,823 US dollars. Chainlink is down 4.15% in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is number 20, with a live market capital of 7,822,371,480 US dollars. It has a circulating supply of 467,009,550 link coins, and a maximum supply of 1 billion link coins. If you would like to know where to buy Chainlink, the top cryptocurrency exchanges for trading in Chainlink stock are currently Binance, OKX, Coinflex, Mandala Exchange, and Cointiger. Now, let's see how it works in use cases. Chainlink's name gives away its purpose linking data between off-chain and on-chain resources. This means that the protocol has to connect to two different types of networks. Those resources that exist off-chain are called Oracle nodes, interfacing with the blockchain whenever the user requests external information. Then, this data goes through Chainlink Core, a custom-built framework that links off-chain Oracle data to the Chainlink network. Once processed, on 
on-chain Oracle nodes receive the data to use on a blockchain's smart contracts. To pay for off-chain and on-chain Oracle nodes, users have to use linked tokens. As with other such blockchain networks and cryptocurrencies, the more adopted it becomes i.e. the more people that use it to pay for Oracle data delivery the more link price should theoretically increase. If decentralized finance, DeFi, becomes a true alternative to traditional finance, it is easy to see how beneficial and valuable Chainlink would be across industries. Smart contracts can use oracles to know and verify when a condition is met by receiving information from banks and payment processing companies. When used in logistics, blockchains can track the status of products receiving real-time location data. With DeFi insurance protocols, a smart contract can receive relevant data, such as weather conditions or other external factors, to calculate the user's premium. Governments and private organizations can use Chainlink oracles to verify a user's identity by linking external databases to smart contracts. The same applies to electronic signatures. When buying assets, Chainlink oracles can also be used to check their valuation. For example, Dipol uses Chainlink to help evaluate its distributed energy markets. In the DeFi realm, one of the most prominent usages of Chainlink Oracle nodes thus far is to create tokenized stocks. Synthetix platform integrated Chainlink for this purpose in September 2020. This enables users to trade synthetic versions of stocks on the blockchain, which wasn't previously possible. Tesla, one of the most valued blue chip stocks, is already available as a synth, a synthetic stock on Synthetix, thanks to Chainlink's oracles. What makes Chainlink unique? Chainlink is one of the first networks to allow the integration of off-chain data into smart contracts. With many trusted partners, Chainlink is one of the major players in the data processing field. Due to the integration of off-chain data, Chainlink has attracted the attention of numerous trusted data providers including Brave New Coin, Alpha Vantage and Hobby. Data providers can sell access to data directly to Chainlink, thus monetizing the information they have. As a decentralized network, Work, Chainlink allows users to become node operators and earn revenue by running critical data infrastructure required for blockchain success. Chainlink uses a large collection of node operators to collectively power a wide range of decentralized price feed Oracle networks live in production, which currently secure billions in value for leading DeFi applications like Synthetix, Aave, Compound and more. Chainlink has grown from aggregating and providing cryptocurrency price data to DeFi protocols like Aave, to a lot more. The ecosystem currently access over 1 billion on data points securing over $75 billion in value through 1,000 project integrations with 700 Oracle networks. Mainstream organizations like AccuWeather, FedEx, FlightStats, and the Associated Press have partnered with Chainlink for data verification. However, one of the biggest wins Chainlink have secured is onboarding Eric Schmidt, ex-Google chairman and CEO, as a technical advisor to the Oracle Network Protocol. According to Schmidt, Chainlink is a secret ingredient to unlocking the potential of smart contract platforms and revolutionizing business and society, and he is interested in helping Chainlink build a world powered by truth. Schmidt joins other notable Chainlink advisors, including former LinkedIn CEO Jeff Weiner and DocuSign co-founder Tom Gonser. On the roadmap for 2022, Chainlink will finally roll out staking for link holders to secure the network and earn rewards. Chainlink has been working on a staking solution for years, however Oracle networks are not a blockchain, but a form of decentralized computing. Co-founder Nazarov explained that Chainlink does not produce blocks, but make consensus on hundreds of Oracle networks about price data. He says the team is finally satisfied with the security and scalability of the consensus mechanism and ready to launch staking this year. Then, how many Chainlink, Link, coins are there in circulation? During the initial coin offering, ICO, for Link in September 2017, Chainlink announced a total and maximum supply of 1 billion link tokens. The current supply is about 453,509,553 link tokens, or about 45% of the total supply. As of in September 2021, the Chainlink price at ICO was 11 cents and a total of 350 million link tokens were sold. This represents an over 200x from the ICO price to Chainlink price today. Chainlink price experienced a massive bull run in the period around mid-2019 to mid-2020. Chainlink bulls were colloquially referred to as Link Marines, becoming a well-known meme in the crypto community. Chainlink price reached an all-time high of $52.88 on May 9, 2020. 21, on the back of an overall crypto market rally, 
as well as ongoing developments in the Chainlink ecosystem. According to the ICO documentation, 35% of the total token supply will go towards node operators and the incentivization of the ecosystem. Another 35% of link tokens were distributed during public sale events. Lastly, the remaining 30% of the total token supply was directed towards the company for the continued development of the Chainlink ecosystem and network. How is the Chainlink network secured? As an Ethereum-based ERC-20 token, Chainlink is secured by the proof-of-stake POS consensus mechanism. Unlike the proof-of-work POW consensus utilized by Bidison, POS relies on the amount of staked tokens for selecting node validators. POS protocols were created with the idea to battle the vast power consumption required by POW systems. POS models are becoming increasingly popular as they need less electrical power and are easily scalable. While POW has proven itself a reliable consensus mechanism, Ethereum and all other ERC-20 tokens have been growing rapidly and setting the trend in the space.